So here we are, what is it, Monday morning, about 10 after 1 a.m. Got to go to work in the afternoon, but I usually don't go to bed till about 3 anyway. So, uh, yeah, working on a model here. Let's see how that shows up. Got a blank crown vic here. Somewhere there's a light bar top to it. There we go. Let me put some decals on this thing. I've already uh, done a little bit of uh, pre-weathering, if you will, to it. Scraping a couple spots. It's supposed to be a city police car. Got to do some black paint on the uh, trunk lid there. The wheels have been uh, dulled down and scuffed the tires up so they're not shiny black anymore. But uh, let me show you the inspiration for this picture I found online. See how well that shows up. But uh, yeah, you can see she's kind of dirty. Let's see how close we can get. There we go. There's a good shot. Kind of dirty around the wheel wells a little bit. Doesn't show any scrapes on it, but looks like a black grill. Mine's got a chrome one. Similar light bar. Need to paint mine still. But, uh, yeah. You can see the dirt on the rear quarter panels there and all that. So there's the decal striping and the car number. My striping is for an older model Crown Vic that had the uh, narrower front headlights, but it won't be exactly looking like that, but it'll be close. So I think we're going to try something a little bit different on this. I'm going to try a time lapse as I'm doing the decals. Hopefully that will uh, show up okay. But uh, that's what we're going to go for. I'm going to do some airbrushing on the car when it's all decaled up. Kind of uh, dirty it up a little bit more. Make her uh, make her look like the, uh, the unit on the screen there. I'm not going to try to do the uh, chipped paint on the, on the rear end there. I thought about it, but yeah. We'll just let it ride. Because I'm not going for an exact. I don't have that number. What's my number going to be here? I'm going for unit 9245. So, I'll put it next to the custom built Washington State Patrol that I've done. Not 100% accurate. Usually, others don't say how we patrol on the rear deck lid, but. Other than that, pretty close. I do have the correct license plate, so. Washington State Patrol units. Got the unmarked, that's actually dark blue, it's not black, but it too has the Washington State Patrol tags. So anyway, yeah, let's shut the camera off. Let's get a bottle of water, a container of water going here and start soaking some decals. See how this thing turns out. Alright. Alright, there we go. Getting the computer set up again. So, uh, yeah, it took about, well, it's 2 o'clock right now. I started at, what, 10 after 1? So about 50 minutes, just shy of an hour. Put the decals on. 
few little things to do yet. Like I said before, I haven't painted the light bar. I gotta find the uh, internal piece that goes in there. Need to make a front license plate bracket, I guess you could say. And uh, yeah, all in all, I think she turned out all right. A lot smoother than I thought it was gonna go. Thought these side stripes were gonna kick my butt. They're not perfect, but uh, that's okay because you can see right there it's missing a little chunk. But uh, just looks like an unused police car. Maybe that part of the decal got worn off from all the perpetrators going in and out. A little rough on that side there, too. You can see the difference in the height of the striping. Yeah, door doesn't close quite right, but. But that's okay, maybe it's a repair job. That's the beauty about doing this thing up as a in-service car. So yeah, I think she turned out pretty good. Once again for reference. Looking at the back there, it looks like the blue bottom of the blue stripe meets the top of the molding that goes around the bottom of the uh, tail lights. Mine is a little bit high on both sides. This tail light's not sitting, fitting quite the best, but I think that's a problem with these models because that one does the same thing. Yeah, this one fits pretty good. I may just try to tighten it up sometime, but uh, yeah. All in all, I'm pretty happy with it. It went a lot smoother than I thought it did. So, I can't quite tell if that's a chrome or a black grill in that picture. I'm going to leave it chrome, I think. I know our Seattle Police Department cars run chrome grills. Of course, they use a light metallic blue paint, not the white, but... Yeah, just to see if we can get a good difference here of the... Uh, Of the wheels. Gotta see it doesn't have a whole lot of gloss there. And I'll pull up the state patrol car. You can see the difference. A little shinier tire, shinier wheel. So this one's gonna be an in-service car. I think they turned out pretty good. Look real pretty realistic in my opinion. I should be uh, painting that molding in there, that chrome molding around there, white. Because actually, that's something that's even deleted on the original, on the actual police vehicles. But I'm not going to worry too much about that. So anyway, there you have it. Just shy of an hour, we've now got a Chicago Police Department car. And my main reason for doing this is, as most of you know that follow my videos, I'm a Blues Brothers fan. Got the old die-cast blues mobile here. Get things moved around a little bit, so. Of course the cat just took my spot. Yeah, you. So there you go, Chicago PD. And then see old Monaco. It's gonna look all right. Okay. A little after 2 o'clock in the morning, I'm getting kind of tired. Time to go to bed. Actually, I'll probably put this video together and, and then go to bed. So, uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.